I am coming on to do a reading for the collective. Um, so I just have to do it in a different spot tonight. So hope it doesn't bother anyone. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. This is going to be a general energy check-in. So it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't make something fit your situation. If it doesn't fit or does not make sense for you. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle. And then I'll pull the energy around the reading and pull the reading, okay? Okay, spirit. What is the energy? So you have guilt, and worry, okay? Uh, guilt says, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth, and I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, okay? Um, you could be releasing some sort of worry that you have, or... Maybe you have guilt or you have worry around a situation, but you're realizing that it doesn't help you in any way to grow or to, um, like it doesn't change the outcome of a situation to feel, um, worry or to feel even guilt around a situation that in order to change an outcome, we have to, um, learn to grow from a situation and, so to release the worry or guilt that we feel in order to um, grow or to uh, come into an outcome, come into an outcome that is more aligned with our, um, well, with our, with coming into balance or coming into a, um, the ability to move forward, okay? Okay, so I feel like that's the energy around this reading. Okay. What is this? Have a star.
Okay, so I feel like you could be working on healing from something. This may be um, some sort of loss or um, something you went through could be like losing a person or losing somebody that could have been person, place, like different things in your life in general that you had to let go of. But um, I do see you moving into a uh, calmer time where you're looking for more peace or a more peaceful space in your life or more time to where you can spend time focusing on finding peace within yourself and feeding into your emotions. You may even be um, able to somehow help others by either feeding into yourself or by something that you do where you're able to uh, spread some sort of light on some type of inner work that you do. Maybe this is some sort of healing. Maybe you are a healer or you just have a um, knowledge when it comes to could be recovery in any sense. I think this is has to do with conflict that you gain clarity around or you came into a lot of clarity around of how to resolve this. I think you came into a union within yourself or gained a loyalty to yourself. I'm looking at the two of cups as more of a self-reflection or I'm looking at yourself with a lot of understanding or loyal loyalty within who you are or a deep knowing of maybe you and your higher self or you and something that you um, look at uh, uh, with a um, lot of respect, but I, as in like looking at yourself um, with like any higher regard, this could be a connection that drives you forward or helps motivate you to move in um, the direction forward, to pulling you out of conflict in any form. And I feel like this could actually activate a lot of your healing or this could be what helps you shine a light or maybe has you in some sort of um, presence as far as being known when it comes to the work you do, not only on yourself, but this could be helping others come into a calmer spot in their lives to come out of conflict and gain clarity around maybe a form of uh, validating themselves or finding self-love um, for uh, like going into a sense of peace out of, uh, maybe, um, what is that? Uh, grief coming out of grief or, um, a deep, uh, feeling of remorse or loss or sadness. Okay. Um, so I'm going to clarify. Okay, so yeah, I think you're focusing on a lot of um, what um, what makes you happy uh, when it comes to self. Um, could be self-indulgence in like um, a lot of offers when it comes to, I, I think, fulfilling your needs or... Um, focusing on bringing forward things that are going to fulfill your needs as far as um i think like when it comes to healing there is this sense in this energy here of 
fulfilling your needs to uh, as like a form of healing like um, maybe there was something you you didn't have growing up or there was like a maybe a lack when you were um like you came up with maybe without a a lot or so there's like this um this energy here of being more of a in a spontaneous or like really free or playful type of energy or um being maybe even like a little bit reckless so, because that is bringing forward healing because maybe when you were um I feel like most of your life you didn't have the ability to do the things that you wanted to do or spend on um the things that you necessarily wanted and so there is this like sense of indulgence but it's to bring you into a sense of confidence within yourself because even though the devil's showing up i think this is like talking about being tied to things in the material world as far as like um maybe spending or um i'm not seeing like uh, like heavy addictions i'm seeing like um material like buying material things but you're in the nine of pentacles so i think you're somebody that can afford to do that and it's bringing you um out of a lack of clarity and into more of your truth and out of conflict and into more of a peaceful time because what this is doing is bringing forward healing because you're coming out of this lack mindset where you feel like there's never enough. I can't, I can't spend, I have to save everything I can't have. And knowing that, um, money is always flowing that it's, it's like, um, like it's, it's like you have to spend to receive and, um, that you, um, are able to, um buy yourself things or to do things that are um nice for yourself i feel like because you've come into a spot where you are able to afford those things and it's not tied to i feel like addictions or i feel like vices that are unhealthy i feel like this is tied to doing things that are um bringing you into clarity as far as just putting you into more confidence within the stability that you've gained. 